Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Thank you for being here again. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Leo, it looks like um, you could be in a relationship here. It's, it feels like my Leo women are dating for a purpose or with purpose, okay? Or if you're a woman and you're dealing with a Leo man, you're dating with a purpose. You want to see the relationship go to marriage, go to the next level. Um, but you feel like you and this person are not spiritually aligned because this person keeps um, testing your spirituality, testing your your beliefs, your morals. You feel like you and this person's moral morals, values are not, they, they're not the same. Um, there's not even room for you guys to kind of, you know, um, get on the same page here. It's like you have to have the courage to stand up for yourself and be true to what it is you say you want. Some of you are having a hard time walking away from this person or being courageous enough to say this is not a good fit for me because you either have a family with them. This person takes care of your family or you've let them meet your children. OK, um, you definitely want this relationship to turn over into marriage, something uh, solid, stable. And you also feel like this is like a test of your faith or a test of what it is you really say you want. I think you need to exercise your vocal cords and just have the courage to say whatever it is that you are feeling because something is tugging at you. If you need to be friends with this person and no longer date them, then uh, you can go ahead and do so. There is also someone here who feels like you you have a lot of people that you're dating. Therefore, they're not going to take you serious or they can't take you serious because you have other people that you're dating and they want to date you exclusively and seriously. But they feel like you have lots of people. Um, there is somebody here who's just not serious about commitment. All right. Whatever they say, you know, you know take it with a grain of salt, investigate it because uh, their actions are going to speak louder than their words. You need to have enough courage to stand up for yourself and be true to you. If this is not aligning with your purpose, what you believe in, your value set, your principles, your morals, then you have to say so. And you may have to sever ties and let something become a friendship. One where there is no dating involved. And you might have to even date someone else or, or put yourself back out there on the market here in order to find a real union. OK, so, um, yeah, this is what I have for you. Um, also there's like somebody who comes in town and they're date, you know, have a hangout with you or whatever. And then when they're gone, you don't know what they're doing. And it's kind of, it gets a little sketchy here. It's like they, they're locked in on you when they're with you. But then when they're not with you, out of sight, out of mind is what I'm, you know, what's coming to mind. And that may be how you feel also. Um, something about sex too. Maybe you feel like you just don't want to keep engaging in sex. If you've already had sex with the person, especially if you don't know if it's going to marriage, um, somebody has been stringing you along for a while. Maybe they had, had given you a ring, but there is no date. There is, there was a proposal, but there is no date set. So you're concerned about that also. Uh, some of you need to join a gym or you will join a gym. You will get a hobby that allows you a positive outlet. Um, and it also may even bring you some finances if you choose to monetize this hobby. OK, and you may be thinking about people who brought you good advice, um, who just uh, really volunteer uh, their wisdom to you at times. Maybe someone from the past. And you also may be trying to just leave this toxic situation behind and find somebody who's true, real. All right. This is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there or ask a question or two by texting it to the number below a question like, should I let this person go? Should we just be friends? Will it, will it, we ever get married? Questions like that. You can text those to the number below. Um, also, you can catch me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I answer your questions. I do a collective reading. You also could donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Um, you could click the Buy L a Coffee link and buy me a coffee. Um, thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.